Hi, boys and girls. Oh, it's so good to see you again. Praise the Lord. How are, you, how are you doing? Good? Oh, me too. Yep, I'm doing great too. Oh, praise God the Lord. God is so good. He is. I wonder, boys and girls, have you been given the pieces of your life to Ooh, the Lord? That's right. Remember? Who remembers the verse? It was from Proverbs. Right. Are you ready? You want to say it with me? Yep. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. It's Ooh. the following part of Ooh, that's it. That's a good part of it. It is. Because people try to lean on, they, they try to figure out in their minds how to do stuff. Mm -hmm. But we can't figure it out. Only God knows. That's right. Amen. We're to use our heart and just Amen. trust Him with everything. Yep. Aunt Cheryl, yeah? I know a song about that. About what? About trusting the Lord with all your heart. Okay, you want to sing it for I us? sure do. It goes like this. Trust in the Lord, trust in the Lord. Always trust Him with all your heart. Trust in the Lord, trust in the Lord. Always trust Him with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him. In all your ways acknowledge Him. And He will make your path straight. Trust in the Lord, trust in the Lord. Always trust Him with all your heart. Praise the Lord. Isn't that awesome? It then is. that'll help you remember the verse, too. Well, maybe we could sing it together sure. and give everybody a chance. Yep, and we'll put the words up down here, and you guys can sing right along. Okay. Here we go. All right. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Always trust Him with all your heart. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Always trust Him with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him. In all your ways acknowledge Him. And He will make your path straight. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Always trust Him with all your heart. Woo! Praise the Lord. Oh, oh praise the Lord. I love that verse. Amen. To trust in the Lord with all, all your, your heart, heart and lean not on your own understanding. Trust Him with your heart, not in your all brain. your ways. In other words, in everything you do, in, in every path you take, trust Him, acknowledge Him. And he will make your path straight. Yeah. Do you ever feel like sometimes things are confusing? Some things yeah. are just out of, like, this isn't right. Trust him. Acknowledge him in your life. Say, God, I want you in my life. And he will make it straight and not confusing. Amen, Aunt Cheryl. Amen. Woo, woo, that's a good word. It is a good Amen. word. Amen. Yes. Aunt Cheryl, we haven't looked in the treasure chest for a long time. We haven't. Do you think? We I wonder if there's anything you in here. You want to peek in and just see? You guys want to see? You do? I mean, yeah. me too. Let's here we take go. a look. Oh, Ooh. Can you see? Ooh. What's in there? I see the Word of God, the, the most valuable treasure in the whole wide world. Yeah. And you know what? Oh, there's something else in here. What is it? Can you see? Looks like a little, little bottle. Oh, it says mustard seeds. Yeah. Yeah, mustard see? seeds. Mustard seed, yeah. Huh. Wonder why those are in there, Aunt Cheryl. Well, let's let's look. Let's okay. look. Oh let's yeah, look. well we don't know what to do in life. We can always turn to God's word. Any answer you need, the answer is in here. It's always in the word. Seek and you will find. Amen. Oh you remember we learned the word that the word parable. Parable. Oh that's that's like a story. Yeah, it, it's 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 a lot of times Yeshua Jesus would use things that we know, yeah, and and compare it to God and and His oh. kingdom. Oh, the teaching about the kingdom of God. I remember you guys talking about that. Yeah, well, this is this is mustard seeds, and I have a 
list of different stories here, parables, Ooh. of when Yeshua, he talked about it in Matthew and Luke and awesome. Mark. So you can look these up. Yeah, you can look them up too, guys. So what he said, it says, Yeshua told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed. Like a mustard seed? Yeah. That's like what's in that little, that little jar there. Yeah. Which a man took out and planted in his field. He planted the seeds in his field. Oh, cool. Even though it's the smallest of all seeds, yeah. when it grows, it is the largest of garden plants and becomes a tree. Wow, so like a tree? Big, so big that the birds come and perch in its branches. And in Luke it says the birds make nests in the branches. Wow, and then they have their lay their little eggs and have their little baby birds. Yeah. And then and then in Mark it says that the birds can perch in its shade. So Ooh. that's kind of telling you how big well, this yeah. plant ends up. That's pretty Yeah, Troy, can we can we see the mustard seeds? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, because it said that it yeah, was. I so... can't see them in that little little jar. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, they're little. Look how little they are. Answer. You want to show them to the boys and girls? I will. Can you see them? Yeah. Those are really small. And, they, and when you plant them, they grow to be like kind of like a tree. Yeah. These you know, tiny birds little seeds, you know? And it and it I was thinking about that, BJ. Yeah. And it's like, but what did what did Yeshua say these seeds were like? The kingdom of They're God. like the kingdom of God. Yeah. And so I'm like, I'm going to put it up here. I'm going to knock it off. Okay. There we go. But I was thinking, it's like, you know, the kingdom of God is like a mustard seed. And I'm like, why? And I'm like, there's another verse about mustard seeds. Really? There is. There's another one? In, in Matthew 17, Ooh. It, it's comparing faith to a mustard seed. And it says, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, it says that you can move the mountain from here to there. And Cheryl, I hear people say sometimes that they don't, they feel like they don't have enough faith. Yeah. But faith. Yeshua said, if you have faith even the size of a mustard seed, yeah. well, what can we do? It says nothing would be impossible for nothing us. Nothing at all? If we have the faith the size of a mustard wow. seed. Wow. And so... We need, so God is comparing faith to seeds. And you know, I think about farmers. It yep. takes a lot of faith to be a farmer. Boy, it sure does. Who would think putting teeny weeny little seeds yeah. in the dirt? Yep. Yeah. And what's he have to do? He has to wait. He has to wait. Yep. And have faith that those seeds will grow. Yep. And that's what it's like in the kingdom. And he has to pray that God will send the rain and the sunshine. Yeah. Oh, just the right conditions for it to grow. Yeah, so that the birds will be so big and they'll grow and be healthy. Those little birdies aren't just going to sit in its branches, though. No. It's probably going to eat some of the seeds, don't you Oh, think? yeah, they'll eat the seeds and then they'll fly around. Uh-oh. Yeah, they then do. Then guess what? Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they got to go to the bathroom. They do. And usually a lot of times the seeds It's usually going to be right on your mom and dad's <laughs> car. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Or it could be in the ground somewhere else. And guess yeah. what? What? If, if, they, if they had a seed and they go do their stuff and not in a place. Yeah. Another mustard plant will grow. Really? And then it'll grow oh, and boy. grow and grow. And that's what it's like in the kingdom of God. We oh. plant the, God's word in our heart. Yeah. And we have faith that it's going to grow. Yeah. And it gets so big yeah. that others come and they, they see the fruit of the Spirit. Right, right. That's in us. And they're like, and I want that. Yeah, I want some. And so they come and they eat some too. And then they go to see their family. Yeah. And their family and friends see them. And they're like, whoa, what do you have? I have God. I have Yeshua in my heart. I have the Holy Spirit. Ooh, Let me tell you. And then they want it. And it grows and, and grows, grows and grows. grows. I love it. Yeah. Wow, it's awesome. Without faith. We got to have faith, don't Without we? faith. Yeah. And, and we got to trust the Lord. I mean, it, it keeps coming up, boys and girls. We keep praying every week. What are we going to teach? And then it's like God shows us. And it's for somebody. Yep. It's for me. Yep, I know it's for me. That's yeah. Right. And it's like God wants us to trust Him. Amen. It's really important that Amen. we walk by faith and not, not by, by sight. sight. And lean not on your own understanding. 
but trust in the Lord with all your heart. Amen. Ooh, praise the Lord. And that comes the other part. Amen. We, we got to praise the Lord. Knowing that he's going to take care of us and that it's going to grow yep. and the kingdom of God is awesome. Amen. So let's praise the Lord together. One, two, three. Praise the Lord! Woo-wee! <laughs> wow, God bless you boys and girls. God bless, and have a wonderful week. Yep, we love you guys. Bye! Bye! Toodles! <laughs>